Hi guys, it's Miss B. I am back with another video for this week. And this week we are going to talk about cell phone etiquette and how we can use these skills in our daily lives. Most of us have cell phones that we use on a daily basis. Some of us use these cell phones way more than others. Um, but have you ever wondered if you are using your cell phone correctly? And by this I mean, are you using it correctly in a social setting? This is what we're going to cover today, so let's get started. There are certain situations where phone usage and texting are just not smart. The most important one I would think would be definitely while driving. If you know an important call or text has come through, while you're driving, pull over before you even pick up your phone. This way you will avoid getting into an accident, you know, damaging your car, someone else's car, hurting someone else, um, hitting an animal, a building, a tree, anything. So if you know a phone call or text came through, wait to pull over before you touch your phone. Super important. A time when it would be rude to be using your phone would be when people are trying to talk to you and you aren't acknowledging them. This really puts a strain on the person who's trying to talk to the other person who's just sitting there on their phone. It could be an important question that they have or maybe something that's serious that they need to discuss and the person is just sitting there with their phone in their hand typing or chatting away and not even responding. So not only is this rude, it's also really annoying and it's really irritating. So be sure to turn the phone off if someone is trying to have a conversation with you. Another important topic to cover would be personal and private information on your phone. It would be not a good idea to text your personal and private information or someone else's personal or private information. And the reason for this is because these messages could accidentally or purposefully be sent to someone else that you may have not wanted to know this information. Also, your phone could get lost, stolen, left behind somewhere, and now the messages that were so personal and private could be shared with the world. So definitely think twice before sending any messages with personal stuff in it. When you are on your phone talking to someone, please speak in a normal voice. There's really no need to scream or talk really loudly while you're on your phone. The person on the other end can hear you just fine when you're speaking in a normal tone. You can use your inside voice, it's totally fine. The person on the other end will appreciate you using your inside voice instead of screaming so loudly in their ear like you're at a hockey game. Just keep it at a normal sound. We're good. When you are on your phone talking to someone and you are in public, keep your distance if you are using your phone. No one wants to hear about your brother's new girlfriend or how your mom was sick last night or how your sister has a migraine. This is just information that is not necessary for the whole world to know. This is something that is just so obnoxious and I know I'm not alone in this feeling. So if you have to take a call in public, try to find a, a private, quiet place to be chatting so you're not out in the open with a million people listening to your conversation. Also, when you're in public, keep your distance if you're using your phone. No one, you know, needs to be seeing you, um, you know, hand gestures and loud voices and things like that. And when you're in public, don't use your speakerphone. Just don't use it. Turn the speaker off. The whole world doesn't need to hear your conversation. It's disruptive. It's inappropriate. Turn that speaker off. Another thing to remember is when you're on the phone in public, avoid those personal and sensitive subjects. This would be things like your personal health information, 
gossip about friends or family, talking about work-related information, just not appropriate. So really try to acknowledge this in public. Now we're gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about cell phone use in the workplace. When you are at work, be sure to keep your phone in your pocket, locker, purse, backpack, somewhere that it will not be in your sight. Just get it away from you. Then you can give your full attention to your job. Instead of listening to your phone go off in your pocket, you know, all the time. I don't think that your boss would appreciate your phone being in your hand or being next to you talking while you're at work. So keep that phone away so you can focus on your tasks while you're working. Another situation that you should leave your phone out of sight is when you're having a face-to-face -face conversation with someone. There's nothing more rude than to try to have a conversation with someone and all you see is them going like this on their phone or you know trying to have a conversation or checking a voicemail or something it's just so rude you can leave your phone in your pocket in your purse wherever you would normally leave it um, if you're texting and talking while you know in in calling someone while you're trying to have a conversation it's rude you know just put that phone away it's just so much nicer and this person will appreciate it so much if you can give them your full attention. One of the times that I just find it so rude when people are on their phones is when I'm sharing a meal with them, whether it's at my house, their house, in a restaurant, wherever. When people are using their phone at the table, it is so rude. Uh, it's like you're only half listening to what that person is saying while they're talking because they're too busy sending a picture on Snapchat or answering a text. It's just extremely rude and annoying. Keep your phone away from you. Get it out of your sight. And give that person that you're sharing a meal with your full attention. And you might actually enjoy the conversation that you'll have with this person instead of being on your phone the whole time. Give it a chance. Um, as a general rule, there are a few places where keeping your phone on silent would be best. Obviously for us, the first one is school. Um, whether you're in school, face-to-face, -face, or we're on Zoom meetings, we don't want to see you holding your phone like this in front of your camera so that all we see is like half of your face and then your cell phone. This is just so rude. If we're on Zoom, we're in school. It's still school, so put that phone away. No one wants to see it. Uh, also, I know we talked about not using phones in restaurants. There's a few other places that we really should be um, cognizant of this. This would be churches, on a bus, train, plane, theater, elevator, in a waiting room, um, if you're in a meeting, museums, libraries, and if you're at a party. I feel like there's a lot of times that I go to parties and there's a lot of people on their phone. Take the time to just put your phone away, visit with your friends and family, and enjoy them. You don't have to scroll on Insta while you're at a party. Put your phone away and enjoy people, have conversations. You'll appreciate it. One last topic I would like to cover quickly would be the use of earbuds and headphones. If you are going to use these items, please make sure you have them at a lower setting, especially in a public place. Uh, it can be difficult for someone to try to have a conversation with you if your earbuds are on, in your ear, or your headphones are on and they're on really loudly and someone's trying to get your attention and they just can't because you can't hear them. And it can also be really dangerous because if you're in a public place and Let's just say you're crossing the street and your, your earbuds or your headphones are on, they're on really loud. You can't hear cars. There could be a car coming at you, you wouldn't even know. You know, so just make sure that you have those on a lower setting in a public place and definitely not appropriate in all of those places where you shouldn't even, you know, have your phone out in the first place. So that's it for today. I hope you all learned something about cell phone etiquette, and I hope that you will put into practice some of these scenarios that we went over. And also, take notice 
if people that you're having a conversation with are using their phone or iPad or, you know, whatever, um, let them know if you want them to, you know, put their phone away. You can ask them really nicely, explain to them how you would appreciate it if you could have their full attention while you guys are talking, and I'm sure that they will be more than happy to do so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you always know when the latest content is out. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. Hope you all have a fantastic week. Bye!